These incidents were recorded in Mukutu village in Kayunga district as a group of residents roughed up UPDF soldiers who had gone to the area to intervene in a dispute over land ownership. One of the men was heard asking for a matchbox to burn the motorcycle the soldiers were traveling on. The UPDF First Division Public Relations Officer, Major Charles Kawan, explains the genesis of the dispute. Uh, these soldiers are deployed to guard uh, a company called GM, Company Limited, in that place. And uh, in a nearby vicinity, there was a fighting among family members over land. Now these soldiers intervened and went there to see what was going on. And when they reached there, those poor are fighting for the land, the family members who have got issues on that land, they turned against our soldiers, tried to disarm them. Although it's not clear how far the site the soldiers were guarding is from the disputed land, Major Kawana told in TV that an investigation into the matter has started. We have also instituted uh, a, a body of inquiry which will go an extra mile, get to the bottom of the matter and find out what could have transpired. The army has condemned the recklessness of civilians to confront armed soldiers to the extent of flogging them. Soldiers are human beings. Even if they say that this snake doesn't bite, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you put it, your finger in its mouth. Therefore, in case a soldier makes a mistake, you can report this soldier to his superiors. In such a scenario, the armed personnel have a right to defend themselves, according to the army. Because he will not explain to his bosses or the army leadership that the gun was taken away from me. There have been incidents in the past where the army has been accused of allegedly meddling in land wrangles. Some time back, I remember the president himself made it very, very clear, categorically very clear, that issues concerning land wrangles should be addressed and solved by the office of RDC. Therefore, whoever goes there and is a soldier, he has gone there as an individual. Major Kabona commended the soldiers for not losing their heads and pull the trigger in the face of intense provocation and humiliation. According to Major Kabona, all those who participated in humiliating the soldiers will be punished. Because some of them have been identified. We have some of their names. Some of them are in Kayunga. Some of them were picked from Kampala. The locals who tried to manhandle the UPDF officers went to the scene are going to be charged with an attempt to disarm armed army officers. Plus also the soldiers who went on the scene without orders are going to be cautioned for doing that. But entirely the public has been warned to ensure that in case of such a scenario, desist attempting to disarm a police officer or even a UPDF officer because the law provides that they can defend themselves in case of such an attack. Sudil Yorhanga, NTV.